You want to change your skin in Minecraft 1.21? Let's do it. First things first, you're going to need a skin. There's two main ways to get a skin. One is downloading one from a website like this, the skin decks here. We can search for a night skin, right like so, or any kind of skin that you want, and then download one. I like this one right here. Once you've found your skin, you can go ahead and click download. You might need to close out of whatever opens next and then click download again. And the second time you click download, it will go ahead and start downloading the .png file. Make sure the file you download for your skin is a .png file. Once that download is complete, you're good to change your skin, but the second way to get a skin is to make your own. There's an in-depth guide in the description down below that shows you exactly how to make a skin. We also have an in-depth video guide, of course, and you have the link here to the skin editor where you can create a truly custom skin. Nonetheless, no matter how you get your skin, you will get a .png file, which will then need to use in the Minecraft launcher to actually change your skin to really anything you want as long as you can get a PNG file of that skin. So that is where the skin decks comes in, being able to search through thousands, if not millions, of Minecraft skins and find the perfect one for you and even tweak it using the skin editor. But nevertheless, once you're in Minecraft, there's this skin button up here at the top. Click on that and you'll see all these different Minecraft skins. You can see this knight skin is another knight that I've uh, actually done in the past in another video. To add a new skin, go ahead and click plus new skin here. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name this Blue Knight because, well, this is a Blue Knight. Select your player model, slim or wide, and then select the skin file by clicking browse here and then double clicking on it in the menu that opens. So here we are. Our knight skin is now selected. If you've got a cape, you can select one and then click save or save and use. If you did just click save, you'll need to hover over the skin and click use in order to activate it. Now, if we jump into Minecraft, we'll be able to see that the skin is active. But while Minecraft's opening, how to mess from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below. The breakdown does xyz slash sgh to your very own 24-hour ddos protected minecraft server for you and your friends you can easily add mod plugins or mod packs to your server and truly customize the server any way that you want plus there's expert live chat support there to help you out if you have any issues along the way so check out simple game host to get the first link in the description down below the breakdown dot xyz slash sgh and start your minecraft server the simple way nevertheless here we are in game if we press f5 we'll be able to see there is our skin looking pretty good but um honestly i like my old skin better so let's go ahead and switch back to do that you can simply close out of minecraft and then reopen up the minecraft launcher from there you can go to the skins tab at the top and you'll be able to select skins there's also a bunch of default skins that you can select from as well this is my skin so let's select it and while skins are saved here i would always recommend backing up a skin and making sure you have another copy of it like locally like the original skin file because it can sometimes get removed from here especially if you change PCs or something like that. But now if we launch up Minecraft, our skin will be back active as we can see here. This is the, uh, the skin I've actually been using for years at this point. So nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more incredible content. Enjoy your new Minecraft skin and we'll see you in the next one.